what to do during your waiting season or in between slow season as an actor. I'm gonna be give you I'm gonna be giving you guys some of my tips. Some of it's conventional, others is unconventional, but everybody especially during the beginning of the year before pilot season or during the summer when it's a little slow even like towards the um, end of um episodic season which is after like a pro i would say probably about like mid-november when thanksgiving and the holidays start to set around people are, are like just freaking out because like it's slow season what do i do <sighs> relax that's gonna be that's my number one tip actually just relax take advantage of this time when it's slow because i'm telling you guys when it's it's busy it's it's busy and you're gonna wish for the time when you had this this period to relax so i'm gonna read off some things that i kind of wrote um off the you know um kind of just what was hot in my mind and if you guys have any suggestions or um anything for your other fellow actors please write them down in the comments below so obviously first thing relax take advantage of this time that it's slow relax fully enjoy this moment of slowness because i promise you when it's busy it's busy um, second tip, and I'm probably going to lose, um, lose my order. Um, work, 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 work overtime, pay off your debt. Please make as much money as you possibly can during the slow time. Stay busy, stay busy, stay busy. Get your head out of, get, get, get your head out of, of, of trying to overanalyze why it's so slow. Work, 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 work overtime, pay off your debt, get ready to invest in some resources, new headshots, work as much as you can. Obviously, don't burn out because I just said relax, but try to make as much money as possible because, again, when it's busy, it's busy. And you just need to make sure you have money to fall back on. You need to make sure that you are paying off your debt. Second or third, prep for new headshots, guys. You should be preparing for it. If you need headshots, I know I'm due for some new headshots. If you need headshots, start looking into photographers. Ask around friends. Look at what's casting and what's your type. Um, what shows are filming that have your type. And look at what people are wearing. Go on Pinterest. Look at styles. Study your essence. Study your type. And get some headshots done with somebody who's good and who's um, who has a, a really good reputation for doing headshots for actors. Don't go to your neighbor. Don't go to your bestie who has a fancy camera. Please invest in a good photographer. Uh, another thing you could be doing is getting into class. Take voice voiceover. I'm, I'm one. I'm going to start taking voiceover classes, St uh, cold, cold reads, um, combat if you do a lot of stunts. Um, what else? Just get into some sort of class and, and always stay learning. Always, always stay learning. Goal set and create a plan. If you have like a goal that I want to book five series regulars or I want to book five credits this year, create a plan and execute it. Study your market. Study, 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 study your market. Deadline. I'm going to mention deadline later. Deadline is going to be your best friend. IMDb Pro is going to be your best friend. Look at all the shows that are casting in your area. If you live in LA, if you live in New York, if you live in the Southeast, if you live in New Mexico, well, in Texas, whatever. Study, um, look at articles, look at all the news of what is casting in your area and study the market, study the market, study the market. If you need to take workshops with casting directors to make those connections, do so. Whatever you have to do, study your market, study your market, study your market, study your type, study your type, study your type that, it's ca that is being cast in your market. Um, kind of goes on with the next tip. Watch TV and study, guys, please. Actors, you guys, a lot of people look down on people who watch a lot of TV, but guess what? Being on TV is our job. We have to look at TV. We have to study TV. We have to study the tones. We have to study what's casting, who's casting, and what production team, um, you know, what comedies are studying, and uh, like what comedies are filming, and what dramas are filming, what dramedies are filming, rom coms, movies. Study TV, study TV, study TV. You have to be in the know of the TV, and because that's the industry, that's the industry that we're in. Study as much, much TV as possible. It's going to help you so much with story and with your auditions if you just study tv and study start picking up on formulas on how tv works it's essential this also ties in with that read as much fiction books about just anything story creative writing screenwriting i love rom-coms rom-com is my thing um but i, I would also say like um, what's helpful is to read like a lot of books about um and this is just something that i've started doing um, you know, books that um, are kind of like in the genre of the things that you kind of go out for. So I go out for a lot of cops and guards and those type of roles. So I'm starting to read more, um, a lot more um, like mystery novels and like investigation detective type of books. 
Um, but not only that, it's just um, also study screenwriting, like books about like nonfiction books about screenwriting, how story works. And now Save the Cat is a popular one. I would recommend also like The Writer's Journey. Stephen King has a lot of books about writing. Um, you know, just anything to do with creative writing, really focus on that because guys, it's story, 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 story. This is what separates a green actor from a professional actor. We understand that it's not about us, it's about the story. We're always, we're here to serve the story. So study story as much as possible. Another thing you could do, get on We Audition. Help people, um, if you're not familiar with We Audition, it's like the Uber for actors, people who need readers, or if you wanna get on there to make a little bit of money and be a reader for someone, it's a great place for people to rehearse, to read for people, um, to take their auditions if they need a reader. Um, you could go on there to read with people and help them you know, just practice and rehearse or tape, whatever it is that they do, or you could get on there and make some money because we're trying to make money with this inflation and go nowhere. Um, work on your social media presence if you want to just really get your following going like start batching out content start working on on your brand and on your social media or if you're one of the actors that doesn't do social media then don't do social media or if you want to take a break from social media this is the perfect time to take a break from social media also we could get a lot into comparison and do a scene what our neighbors are doing we're not it's, it's 2023 we're not comparing and despairing anymore y'all we are in own of our own um on, of our own journey as actors um i already said take a social media break get healthy hit the gym work on your nutrition guys we have to make sure as actors that we're always staying healthy that we're you know that we're watching like i don't even want to say watching what we're eating what we're eating but that we understand how our bodies work and what we can do to help our bodies um flourish and to make sure that they're working at their at the most optimal um way they can because our bodies are a vessel there are vessels as actors they hold our emo emotions they're they're our energy so we have to take care of ourselves i know i've been hitting gyms i've been lifting weights yoga is my go-to dance is my go-to for cardio i love going on walks um i've been eating i've been getting into like eating a lot more like natural unprocessed um, foods as well so i already feel like a huge huge difference in in within the last month um so yeah you have to stay healthy also therapy let's not not just it doesn't just go to physical health mental health we have to make sure that you guys we our, our emotions is is our is our instrument like we as actors our emotions and our feelings are our instrument we have to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves because we are just vulnerable people by nature please please if you need to stay stay go, get into therapy because we as actors have a lot on our plate when we're delivering you know um when we're of service to the character to the story so just make sure that you're all and also not only that but just the baggage of the industry can be a lot and could be very stressful so just make sure you're you're talking to someone and you're going to therapy um read deadline i mentioned deadline earlier deadline guys deadline and imdb pro is going to be your best friend deadline's amazing because it tells you all of the shows that are currently being not only just casting but shows have been picked up actors have been added to the show um producers production team where it's filming like any all up-to-date information regarding any any show project movie feature film whatever is going to be on deadline so study deadline study deadline study your market study your market study your market i can't stress that enough um, another thing you could do during this slow time, listen to some podcasts or YouTubers. My top ones are Audrey Helps Actors, Michael Jammon's Screenwriters Need to Hear This is a great one, as well as Kurt Yu's Actors Center here on YouTube. Um, also, look up interviews from your beloved favorite actors and just any advice they may have on acting that you may, you know, that you may appreciate. But for the most part, Audrey Helps Act Actors, Michael Jammon, and Kurt Yu are amazing resources for the business of acting because, guys, as much as we love the craft, this is show business, keyword business. At the end of the day, you have to know the business. I read a quote, I don't remember who it was, but they said you can be the most talented actor in the world, but if you don't know the business and if you don't know how to audition, you will never work. So make sure you're always studying the business. Um, this is another one that's really helpful is clean and declutter your space. And if you have an, a taping room or like a taping section or whatever, make sure like that not only is it clean and ready to go with your props box and everything in order, but also make sure that, you know, you take a look and see if you need to invest in any new gadgets, a new backdrop, a new camera, new lights, new bulbs, any little things. Make sure that your audition setup is ready to go. Um, also work on other hobbies, like not, I hope acting isn't just your whole life. Look at like 
you gotta, I hope you have other hobbies is all I'm saying, whether it be spending time with your kids, whether it be basketball, whether it be another sport, um, dance, like I know a big passion of mine is dance and Disney, <laughs> but dance or like posting on TikTok, like whatever other niche that you're focusing on aside from acting, like just make sure that you're focusing on your hobbies. Um, this is the best time to do it. You should always be doing it, but like this is the best time to do it. Um, another thing that you can be doing is please guys, either learning new skills or honing in on your skills. So learning new skills, maybe you want to take up pottery, you want to take up an art class, maybe you want to learn a new language and enroll in a new language class. Uh, maybe you want to learn dance and learn a specific style of dance. Whatever other skill that you, has been inclining, like you've been inclined to try out, please do it. Please, please, please do. You never know what can come from that and how that may help you in the end. With that being said, hone in on your skills. Guys, I go, I say this all the time, but I go out for a lot of cops and guards. So naturally what I've been doing, I, I need to learn, or I've been learning how to shoot and how to hold certain guns and learning the different types of guns and glocks and all of that. And learning about terminology about guns. And so, you know, I've been really working on just, you know, like shooting and combat and stuff like that. Also, I am a dancer and I do salsa dance, I do bachata dance and um, jazz. So I've been, you know, just working on those as well because it's my obsession. Um, so yeah, learn your learn a new skill or hone in on your skill or focus on your hobbies. And of course, last but certainly not least, live your freaking life, guys. There's more to life than just acting. I there's something that tell, that gives me peace and solace when it comes to my acting career is whatever is meant for me will not pass me by if it's God if it's in God's will. Please, guys, live your freaking life. This industry isn't going anywhere. You, on the other hand, you. You know, I, I had a reality check when I had three grandparents um, and, uh, um, you know, passed away literally back to back to back as well as my um, child, like my family, our family dog passed away and I got my heart broken. So that was a reality check for me to understand that there is more to life. So please guys live your life. Go take the class. Go out to the club. Be responsible though. Go just have fun. Live your life. Go be with, go to your kid's soccer game. Go just go live your life guys. Life is so freaking short. So, so freaking short. Um, and yeah, those are all the tips I have for now. I wanted to speed through these because I know nobody wants to sit and watch a 45 minute video. The first time I tried to do this, it was like over like 30 minutes. So no, I wanted to speed through this. But if you guys have any suggestions, please leave in the comments below of what you do during slow season. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.